After being away from her royal duties for nine months, news about Princess Catherine Middleton's potential return has finally grabbed the public's attention. For those unaware, the future Queen of England was diagnosed with cancer in March 2024. Since then, she has followed her doctor's recommendations and maintained a low profile. However, as a devoted mother of three, she is now eager to reconnect with the public by taking on more engagements and resuming her responsibilities. A source revealed that Catherine is excited to shift the focus away from her medical treatments and doctor appointments. Palace insiders have provided updates on Prince William's travel plans this month following their summer holiday. Despite feeling well, his wife is on a long road to recovery but intends to start a light schedule of engagements. Consequently, they are expanding their team at Kensington Palace. Catherine hopes to attend the Senate half with her family for Remembrance Sunday and possibly Christmas at Sandringham. Her attendance would be significant, as there are currently no confirmed dates for her full return to royal duties and official engagements. However, there is a major event, the Earthshot Prize Awards in November, that most royal watchers do not expect her to attend, as it will take place in Cape Town, South Africa. Catherine values connecting with people, which she finds to be one of the most rewarding aspects of her royal role. She truly misses it and is hopeful that her doctors will soon clear her to resume this aspect of her duties. She will not undertake any public work without the approval of her medical team. Unfortunately, due to the effects of chemotherapy on her immune system, it will take longer for her to return to public-facing work. The narrative of good days and bad days serves as a guiding principle. According to reports, Catherine has enjoyed a restful summer with William and their children at Amnier Hall in Norfolk, regularly meeting with aides. Those close to the princess emphasize that there is no pressure for her to rush back into public life, as everyone understands the lengthy recovery journey she faces. Reports suggest that Catherine has continued to work from her home in Windsor. A source indicated that she will begin holding meetings with palace staff and representatives from the Royal Foundation and the Center for Early Childhood, both charities of which she is a patron. A spokesperson for Catherine confirmed that the palace will provide updates on face-to-face -face meetings when appropriate and relevant. Meanwhile, she continues to hold regular meetings with her team to plan her future royal initiatives. The Wales family is also on the lookout for new staff members. Kensington Palace is seeking a senior communications officer to manage communications for their engagements and projects. The job description states that the successful candidate will lead communication plans for the royal couple's engagements and assist in delivering communication strategies for their key projects. The role will involve responding to media inquiries about the prince and princess and their family, as well as traveling between royal residences in the UK and abroad. Although the position will primarily be based at Kensington Palace, the candidate must handle sensitive information with discretion. Princess Catherine's long-awaited public appearance at Trooping the Color marked her first official sighting since Christmas Day 2023, and she looked radiant. She also attended the final day of Wimbledon on July 14, where she received a standing ovation from spectators. Kensington Palace has yet to confirm her next official public engagement, but Prince William and Princess Catherine have returned from their summer break, during which they spent quality time with their children. While William has resumed his royal duties, it appears that Catherine is gradually re-entering the public eye.